The Create Index feature is a very robust and powerful indexing tool in OS Forensics. Users have numerous customizations available to them as far as what they wish to index. Creating an index allows the investigator to perform lightning fast, content based searches across the entire drive or section of the drive. This process involves scanning the content of files and emails on the hard drive and then constructing an index of the words found. 64-bit OS Forensics is highly recommended when indexing large sets of data. Your machine will also need a sufficient amount of RAM available for large data sets. Creating an index is a five-step process via the Create Index module. In step one, you will select the types of files you would like to index or simply leave all checked to index everything. If you saved indexing configurations from a previously built index, you could also choose them from the saved configurations menu. In step two, you will choose which device in the case, such as an added disk or forensic image file, or even a particular directory that you wish to index. You will also be given the options to index files only. Index unallocated space only, so all data outside of the file system, or choose to index both files and the unallocated space to index, index the entire disk. If you choose to index unallocated clusters, then the file types you have selected are ignored for the data found in the unallocated clusters. In a sense, there are no files in allocated clusters. Any data found in unallocated space is treated the same. The strings are extracted and added to the index. Even if, for example, a fragment of data in unallocated space was once part of a dot .document file, it is still it still isn't processed like a Word document. Only string extraction is done. You will also notice several advanced options at the bottom. You will see categories for file, skip, language and stemming, precognitive, and binary string. In this slide, we see the configurable options for the precognitive search. This is a unique feature that allows you to receive real time search results based on a supplied list of keywords or a word list, meaning while OS Forensics is building the index, which is an operation that can take hours depending on the data set being indexed, you will get notified in real time when OS Forensics indexes a word or search criteria that you provided. This allows the investigator to know if a particular word is located prior to waiting on the completion of the index. The file category allows you to specify a list of file types you wish to index. The skip category allows you to specify certain files or folders by name and or extension to be skipped during the indexing process. The languages and stemming section allows for various options including the ability to include words that are similar or derived from your, speci your specified word. For example, the word fish would also uh, hit on the words fishes or fishing, fished, etc. The binary string setting configures how aggressively the search indexer will extract text from binary data. These options are all well explained and defined in the OS Forensics interface. In step 3 you will be estimating the number of files and size being indexed to help optimize memory usage and indexing efficiency. Choosing Don't Know requires a pre-scan which can take several minutes to complete. In step 4 you will have the ability to name the index or keep the default name assigned by OS Forensics. You will also be able to review the indexing notes before starting the indexing process. 
This is the last step requiring user input. Once you click the Start Indexing button, OS Forensics will begin in the index creation process in Step 5. In Step 5, the index is now being created. The process can take quite a long time depending on the option selected and the amount of data being indexed. To view the login real-time while indexing is being performed, click on Open Log to bring up a log window. You will be notified once the index is built and completed. You will also be able to see a summary of findings for the index, such as the total size of the index, the number of unique words, the time it took to complete the operation, and more details. If you need to create additional indexes, simply click the New Index button at the bottom left corner of the window.